Hey everybody, Drac from DDO Players. We're here with another special unboxing video. Still looking at some of the scenery sets coming from GameMats.eu. We have already taken a look in another uh, video at the Medieval Houses set. This time up, we have the Gothic Ruins set. Once again, these are coming to us from GameMats.eu. They are a Czech-based republic. Game mats and scenery uh, company. We've uh, did an unboxing on the Medieval Town set. We've also uh, did an unboxing on two of the game mats as well. And up uh, this time, as I said, is the Gothic Scenery set. Or Gotham Ruin set, I'm sorry. So let's take a look at what's in store here. Let me flip this around, see if I can make this a little easier to dump this out. This is a big, big, heavy box. Sorry about that. Bumped the camera again. Oh, really bumped it, sorry. Once again, I should have thought this through a little better how I was going to do this. I was just excited to get this uh, unboxing done, so. I'm just gonna cut the tape here that is holding this together. Flip this down. Slide this over so you can kind of see it. And now I have packing everywhere. Yay. You can see why this was a big heavy set. There was a lot of pieces to this one. You slide that out of the way. Sorry about that noise. I'm sure that sounds horrible. Got a cathedral building. Kind of half of it. See, you have plenty of moves for... Plenty of places, I should say, for all your figures to move around. So we'll put that out. Then we have yet another one of those. Again, these are all resin pieces. So we got the other side to that. You can see you have some like inner, inner and corners. So you can kind of, you know, have your armies go around. Oh, this one is a big, heavy piece. Took me a while to get the plastic off of it. You can see once again, it's another cathedral type. Put that down on our map board as well. I seriously, you guys should see the floor. There is little packing bits everywhere from the styrofoam. We have like a smaller piece. Once again, there's plenty of places for your minis to, to move around with. Put that down there. Last piece for this section of uh, packing. Then we have another section to go. Another piece, you can see that. Once again, the detail on the walls and the stone is just amazing. I mean, it looks like actual stone. Oops. When I picked that up, I broke it. It's all right. And I lied, we have stuff on the other side. Put that down there. We have lots of pieces on the other side. Okay, that should be it all, I promise. We have our doors. Oh, 
We have little small walls. It's again the intricate detail work. Another door. The symbol on the top there. Sorry, I got some packing. I'm telling you, there's packing stuff everywhere. That styrofoam went everywhere. It's crazy. I'm going to have to vacuum. But that's all right. It was well worth it. Then we have another wall. Another door. I'm assuming those are doors. At least I'm going to call them doors. Those uh, plastics didn't want to come off of these two pieces. And once again, these are pretty heavy. You can kind of hear them, maybe. Well made, well constructed. And we have more uh, sidewalls, it looks like. So you can set these up pretty much any way that you would like to set your gothic... Uh, scenery up here. You can uh, make a whole like gr ruined gothic town. Another one of those. You can kind of see that. Get it up. Close shot of that. Have more doors. And these don't want to come out either. Man, they really pack these. I will give them that. Kudos on their packing job. Well, I'm not going to mess with those. There is uh, another one of these and another one of these, but it's really, really packed in there. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to get them out right now because they're kind of taped and packed up. So you get the idea what's in here. Another one of these. I'm hoping the camera is picking up just the intricate details of the stonework. It is amazing. Look at that symbols. And we have a little small hollowed piece. Hold it the right side up so you can see it. So again, there's plenty, plenty of room for your minis to uh, traverse on some of these. Well, I guess it depends on what what size minis you're playing with, but most minis you'll have plenty of room to move around and have some combat in a ruined Gothic village. Another piece of that. You can see this is a huge, huge set. Let me uh, see if I can actually uh, lift the camera up here a little bit to give you a better shot of all what you're getting with the Gothic Ruins set. We will be doing a full review of this set as well as uh, the other sets and the maps as well. This is just a quick overview and first look from GameMats.eu. This is what they are calling the Gothic Ruins set. And you can see why from the name, how it looks. So this would be perfect for uh, a fantasy game. And uh, I can see you could actually do like a Warhammer 40K through here as well. That would uh, be appropriate for it. But do look for the full review uh, coming soon on DDO Players.